Hidden away amongst the derelict terraced houses, the world's last traditional front of house oat cake shop is as busy as ever. The family run business has been making oat cakes at the hole in the wall for nearly 30 years in what would have been the kitchen at the end of a terrace house. But because of Stoke on Trent's council's regeneration programme, the popular eatery is being bought out by the council. It needs replacing, some things do, but I'm sure there could have been some sort of adjustments around. But you know, what, what are you going to miss the most? Oh, correct. Everything. Customers, the everyday routine. Walking into my little premises here, that's, you know, it's kind of just grown on me over these years, hasn't it? We don't know what it's going to happen to us, but certainly it's going to be very heart wrenching. Despite a petition that gained over 5,000 signatures, on the 25th of March, the hole in the wall will close its, well, window for the last time to the bitter disappointment of its dedicated customers. I think it's disgusting. Um, Glenn's done his best to try and carry on with the business, but unfortunately that's not been possible. I think it's a, a great loss to the, the town of Stoke on Trent. Everybody knows the hole in the wall, and it'll be, it'll be a tragedy when this goes, because it's, it's part of the community. How does it feel that you're going to be knocking down one of the buildings then? Not very nice. It's a nice building. Alternative options to move are too expensive for Glenn and his wife Sue, but there is still hope that someone will buy their secret recipe and the couple will move to continue their line of famous oatcakes. This is Joseph Blake, reporting for Staffs Live.